Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Cappies. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, unicorns. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy-ass temple of yours, Cappies, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Come on in. Have a seat. I hope you all have been having a productive week so far. Welcome, welcome back to the ones that have been here since day one. I thank you all so, so much for your continuous love and support. And shout out to the Evolving Spirit. Shout out to the Soul Tribe members, gang, gang. I appreciate you all. If you would love to join the Soul Tribe, Cappies, definitely don't forget to click that join link down below. It does provide you exclusive and unlimited access to discounts for personal readings, email questions, and even love live stream questions when I go live as well. Definitely, if you're new here, welcome, subscribe, like, share. All right, join us on live for Awaken Tarot. I do Awaken Tarot Monday through Friday for all Zodiac sign readings as well. Definitely, if you enjoy the content here, you can join me there. And also, if you have love for live queen questions, we can definitely go live on Saturday nights. I do go live every Saturday night at 10 p.m. Central Time. All right, if you have any love questions that you would love to come by, stop by, or even say hello, hang out with us. We have a good time. Pull some cards there. All right, and we get ready for the next week and we do it all over again, right? And this week, however, here, we are starting with the color orange, okay? So we're working with our sacral chakra cappies, all right? We're working with being creative this week, all right? In all shapes, forms, and fashion, all right? So let's dive in here, cappies. We're going to start with the oracle messages here from your higher self, your guardian angels, and your ancestors, Delphi, stick around. We're going to pull a tarot deck out and dive into your love life. Yes, we're going to see what's coming towards you here in the month of October for love here, Cappies, and what is the potential outcome here, okay? Gordon Angels, what do we have for my Cappies? What do they need to know, Gordon Angels, ancestors of the highest light? What messages here in regards to their higher self, their Gordon Angels and ancestors? What do they want to say at this time? What do Cappies need to know spiritually wise here for the angels? Thank you. All right, we have success and growth here. However, it came out in reverse, okay? Some of you all here, number eight is very significant here. That may be your life path number here, okay? Or you may have this number in your date of birth here, okay? Or we're needing to find balance, okay? We know the number eight represents also balance. It represents abundance, okay? It represents karma, all right? And when it's in reverse, you know, you may be off balance or feel off balance here at this time here, Capricorns, or you may feel like you may be in a place where you may feel stagnant or stuck or not able to, you know, be in a place to manifest as you would normally or usually would love to do or do. Okay, something here may have you off balance, okay? And it could be anything. It could be anything mentally, emotionally, spiritually, or even physically, okay? Making sure that you're getting rest, that you're getting sleep, watching your health and what you're eating. It could be several things that could currently may throw you off balance here. Maybe this week, you may have feel more tired, not getting enough sleep, okay? And this could be affecting your growth, OK, this could be a, affecting the way how you manifest. OK, so whatever this is, making sure that you're tapping in with yourself spiritually and physically, making sure that your health and things are on point. Some of y'all may feel that way. I know the weather is changing. OK, just about a couple of days ago, y'all heard how I sound on here. And yes, I do have my tea, honey. And I'm still on my tea. OK. But thank you for the comments and the feedbacks from the previous video. Thank you for your prayers of healing as well, Cappies. I definitely feel so much better. So I know because of that extra positive energy that was given, I was able to safely recover because of you all, Cappies. So thank you so much. Shout out to the Cappies. Let me give y'all a little you know, a fist pump or whatever the fuck, okay? Cheers to you, okay? Thank you so much for the advice and ways to help help my throat over the weekend. I had so much fun with my family and I was not expecting to get on camera sounding like that. I was like, oh my gosh, you know? 
So, all right, let's go ahead and get into your love messages here, Cappy. Yes, let's see what's coming towards you here in the month of October. All right, guardian angels, ancestors of the highest light. What do we have for my beautiful Cappy? What's coming towards Capricorn? For love. What's coming towards Capricorn to love? What do they need to know? What an angel's ancestors for my beautiful Capricorns. What's coming towards Capricorn places here for love? Guardian angels, ancestors, protect my space and aura, please. And most of all, my heart as I channel the messages here today for the Capricorn placements for the earth element. What do they need to know? What do Capricorns need to know when it comes to love? All right, we have the Empress card coming out here. This is Taurus energy here. So, y'all, this particular person here may be a Taurus Capricorn. All right, we also have the Knight of Wands coming out here. That's fire energy here. Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries energy here. Capricorns, okay. Some of you all, this person may be a fire sign. We also have here the Knight of Cups here. This is water energy here. Count Syrian Pisces and Scorpio. All right. We also have the Two of Swords here. These cards fell over off on the floor. Okay. Off the table and onto the floor. Right. And then we have your energy here. The Knight of Pentacles here. Capricorn, Virgo and Taurus energy here, okay? So some of y'all, this person could be an earth sign or a fire sign. We also have water energy here, water sign or an air sign. So we have all elements here, loves, okay? One more card here to see what this is. All right, hmm, okay, okay, okay. One more, thank you. All right, and we have coming up in the upright is the Queen of Cups here. Again, water energy, Cancerian, Pisces. This is particular Scorpio energy here. All right, Cappies. Let's see what we have here for love. All right, so again, with <clears throat> excuse me, hold on. Let me get some tea, honey, before we get started. Mm. All right. Let's get into it, loves. We have the imprints here, okay? This has been shown, of course, as the divine feminine energy here, okay? Being in your feminine energy here, which we know we all have feminine and masculine energy within us, all right? But this is how you're being viewed in this person's eyes here, okay? This person finds that you are very beautiful, nourishing here, okay? Some of y'all may have just had a child here, a bundle of joy here. Congratulations, okay? Or you may be expecting here. All right, congratulations, Capricorn. All right, and others of you all, this is how, again, you're being viewed to this person, okay? You're being very nurturing and supportive to this particular individual here or this person that you are in a relationship here with, okay? Or was for some of you all, okay? It's going to be different. However, here, this particular energy here, you know, you had a good time with this particular person. You guys always knew how to have a good time here with this Knight of Wands energy here. Again, this person could be a fire sign, a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries here, all right? But with this Knight of Cups here in reverse here, okay, this is someone here that may be off balance when it comes towards their emotions and their feelings here, okay? Because we know the Knight of Cups normally comes in with love messages, right? They come in with love messages, love offers, Okay, sometimes it could be in a situation where it's coming towards you with an apology, right? Or asking for your forgiveness, okay? It could be meaning several, you know, ways of expressing themselves depending on the reading and what other cards come out with the Knight of Cups here. But however, this card came out in reverse, Capricorns, okay? So this is someone here that is emotionally off balance here, okay? Their emotions may be over, all over, okay, the place. They're not emotionally stable here, okay? Some of y'all, this could have been in the form of manipulation, okay? When it comes to manipulating their emotions or manipulating your emotions, your Capricorns, okay? Now we have the Two of Swords here, okay? This is normally your energy here below, and this is telling me in regards to this particular energy. Again, this could be a water sign, a fire sign, or an air sign here, Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here, Capricorns. But this is a particular person here that is now 
not no longer blind due to a situation here or indecisive here. When this card is in the upright, this tells me that, you know, you are currently thinking and making a decision here in, in regards to what way you want to go, how you want to manifest or whatever this is. But when it's in the upright here, this tells me that you have already made up your mind, Capricorns, okay? All right, or this empress or emperor, okay? This could be an empress or this could be an emperor here. I could be speaking with a masculine or a feminine energy here, right? But however, this particular energy has made up their mind. This is a divine energy for whoever this is, right? Because we have the imprints here, okay, Cappies? So, however, regardless of who I'm speaking with, rather this is I am for referencing to your person here, Capricorns, or you, all right? This person, whoever, has made up their mind. They are no longer indecisive here with the Two of Swords here in reverse, okay? Now, however, we have the Knight of Pentacles here in reverse. So, this could be a situation as far as financially wise here, where this person here may be off balance or going through some type of hardship here for some of you all. Okay, this could be in someone that you separated here from. Mm -hmm. This Knight of Wands here, this fire sign, or again, this water sign here. Or however here, this is a situation that I feel like has really thrown the whole relationship here off balance because not only is this person here emotionally off balance here but they're also as far as physical wise here with the pentacles this is your energy here some of you all capricorns may find yourself being off balance here at this time because of this person may have caused you to be off balance because of what they are currently experiencing and you're being around them in their energy here and it may have started to affect you as well here okay but this is someone that you, of course, have feelings towards here, okay? You love this individual here, okay? And unfortunately, this person just wasn't very grounded or stable when it comes towards their decisions and the choices that this person makes here, okay? Wow, beautiful information and details being channeled out here today, Cap Easy. Yes, all right? Definitely, if the reading so far has resonated for you all, again, thank you so much, Cap Easy, for your love and support. Definitely, if this resonates for you, don't forget to like, subscribe. Definitely be a part of the family. We would love to have you here, Cappies, if you're new here. Welcome, my unicorns. Okay. All right. And definitely, again, hit that notification bell. So that way, you'll be notified for when I post new content here on the platform. All right. We do go live again in the Rising for Wake and Tarot. So definitely set your notification bells to be adjusted for when I go live in the rising and also when i go live on saturday nights my loves and i do post short videos for you guys now to do a daily check-in with you all so definitely there's a lot always going on and ways to keep in the loop all right and checking in with your energies all right so definitely check out the platform and see what resonates for you cappies all right Wow. So what I have here to be clarifying the two of swords here is we have is the nine of cups here. Wow. Beautiful energy here. Okay. Some of y'all are going to be doing some celebrating as well here. Okay. Because some of y'all are bringing in a new bundle of joy. Okay. Again, congratulations. Your new moms. Okay. Some of y'all your first time mom. Okay. So congratulations. I remember those moments. Yay. All right. But however, here a lot of celebration here. For others of you all, for your accomplishments here, right? Things that you've been able to achieve for yourself here, okay? We're going through a cycle that we're closing out here. Some of y'all are now celebrating the uh, manifestations that you accumulated over this last year or cycle here that we're closing out here, okay? Are you going to be receiving some type of recognition, some rewards here? I feel for some of y'all, so I just want to say congratulations, Cappies, yes, in advance, all right? But in regards to the two of swords relating to this energy here, this is telling me here, Cappies, that you have made up your mind, okay? You're going towards your ultimate happiness here. This is the Nine of Cups energy, which represents our spirit, our soul as well, or you being at that highest spiritual awareness state of being at the number nine okay and you're definitely wrapping up cycles here okay and you're going and choosing what makes you happy okay you're no longer indecisive when it comes to you and what it is that you want to do right and you're no in more no, excuse me you're no longer indecisive when it comes to this individual here okay rather this is again the water sign the fire sign the earth sign the air sign or whoever right this individual here you no longer are skeptical okay about this person you have experienced enough here to get an understanding of what truly makes you happy rather that's choosing this particular person 
or choosing you, okay, and choosing your future, right? Because you have definitely come a long way here, okay, and you have spiritually here have evolved. So congratulations, definitely if you here, honey, okay, you ain't got no choice but to evolve over here, honey, Yay. All right, so let's get you some love messages here, love. All right, let's get you some love messages here. First, I want to provide a Hidden Truth Oracle card here to see in regards to this particular energy here, what they want to say in regards to this person here that has found themselves to be emotionally here, off balance here, okay, and even financially for some of you all or physically here. So let's see, is there a message here for you, Capricorns? And then we'll step out with a love message to close out your spread wow beautiful spread here again definitely if it's resonated loves don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell all right and i am available capricorns for personal readings if you would love to book a personal reading all that information is down below in the description box my loves all right wow we have i know i was a distraction from your pain okay so this particular person here knows that they were a distraction here from your pain or this is how they feel okay so this could have been a situation here where you previously had been single for a while for some of you all capricorns and you just met this person here and this person here feels like because you may have recently removed yourself from a relationship or someone that you were in a previous marriage with for some of you all or were dating here and as you met this person or this person here came along they felt like that they were more of a distraction or someone to help as to, you know, heal or get through a lost or a relationship from your past. This person felt like that they were more just a comforter or a keeper for that versus just being there for you. OK, that's for some of you all. All right. Wow. Beautiful message here. Let's finish up here and get you. A lot of truth and volume here, honey. Okay, I love it. I love it, Kathy. Let's get your love message as we close out. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's try this again. The cards is even going all over the place here. Yeah, so someone here in their energy may be, have been off balance due to this situation. Okay, has thrown this particular person or maybe your energy here, Capricorns, off balance from your own daily routine here because of this individual here and their energy may have affected you. And again, for the ones especially that, you know, this is, was your partner, your significant other here, okay? <clears throat> All right, so we have, you deserve love here, Capricorns. You are lovable and you need to know that, okay, because you deserve love like anyone else. And don't think that you're not going to get that, okay? We have passion. Yeah, look at that. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Keep allowing your heart to sing with joy. Just because you may feel like you're not in a place where you want to be, or you're not in a relationship or a partnership that you've always wanted or whatnot here. Patience, okay? Patience will avert you. I know that's something that, <clears throat> excuse me, that we don't like to hear, right, sometimes. But trust me, everything is worth waiting for, okay? You don't want anything rust, rusty or not wrapped up all the way. You want it to be complete and worth the time that is put in and the the efforts and you know because you get good results you get to be able to benefit off of that in ways for the generations and generations to come for both of you all so who will want a rush relationship or just to be with someone to just be with someone right allow it to take time and during meantime allow yourself to heal from people places and situations okay yeah, we have love yourself first, Capricorns. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So the more you show love to yourself, the more you invest in yourself, what do you think other people are going to do? Everything starts with you. Whatever effort, time, energy you put into yourself and love and yourself, you're going to get that back tenfold. That's how the universe works. Whatever energy you put out, that's what you receive. So keep knowing and believing the fact that you deserve love like anyone else. And you're definitely going to get it here. This is a divine partnership here that's coming in here for some of you all here, okay? Because, of course, we have divine energy here, okay? So I'm definitely speaking with the divine energy, right? If you are masculine or feminine energy here. So divine only go with divine energy, right? So know your time will come. And to meantime... 
Capricorn, do Capricorn. Balance yourself here, okay? Continue to put in the effort, love, and the self-care and the self-healing in yourself so we can get back to normal routine here, right? And begin to continue manifesting and growing, okay? Some of y'all, again, you may be off balance. So do things that you know that are going to help you, assist you, okay? Do more time as far as investing in yourself, doing things that you like to do, what makes you happy. Put in some cappy time, 30 minutes each day to yourself, just for you with no one around, nothing around, just cappy time, okay? That's very important, okay? I love you guys so much. Beautiful, beautiful messages here. All right, Duffy, if it has been enjoyable to you, again, definitely welcome you to join the Soul Tribe, all right? We have a good old time there, and I do provide additional daily content there as well. We have our own private community, and again, I am available for personal readings, all right? Definitely, once you are a member of the Soul Tribe, you get discounts on personal readings as well. All that information, Capricorns, is down below in the description box. If we are done here, it was a pleasure assisting you. Thank you for coming out and watching. If not, I'll see you for Wake and Tarot, my loves. I love you guys. You take care. Bye-bye.